Coming up on today's show, we are going to react to Daniel Jeremiah's latest mock draft as he had the Giants selecting a quarterback at pick number six. He's one of the most trusted inside sources of the NFL draft world, and when he speaks, all people should listen. And I don't think he would say, I wouldn't rule out the Giants trading up for a quarterback unless he heard that from someone very important. I want to ask this question, though, before we dive into the draft. Do you want the Giants to trade up for a QB? Do you want them to move up from pick six to maybe one, two, or three, maybe four or five to select their next franchise guy? Type Y for yes, type N for no. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. The NFL draft is right around the corner, and it's NFL mock draft season, and we're reacting to Daniel Jeremiah, his latest mock draft from NFL.com. He does a great job. He's usually one of the most accurate people when it comes to mock drafts. And I like what he did with the Giants' number six pick. Let's start at number one, though. He had Caleb Williams, quarterback at a USC, going to the Chicago Bears, which would mean in this situation, Justin Fields would be traded. Then another quarterback off the board to an NFC East rival and the Washington Commanders, Drake May, my QB2 in this class. He goes there, and that would be a great pick in my humble opinion. Number three, the quarterback needy New England Patriots do not select a quarterback at this spot. They go with the best player available, and that is Marvin Harrison Jr., the wide receiver out of Ohio State. I believe he'll walk into the National Football League and be a top 20 wide receiver. At number four, the Arizona Cardinals, another wide receiver off the board. They're going to go with the LSU very, very explosive playmaker, Malik Neighbors, one of my favorite receivers in this class. He could do it all, and he's a threat to go the distance. Whenever he puts his hands on the pigskin, he'll go number four and play with Kyler Murray in Arizona. Number five, my sweet, sweet prince, Joe Alt, goes to the Los Angeles Chargers. If you watch this channel, you guys know I love Joe Alt, and I believe him going to the Chargers at number five would be a slam dunk pick. Next on the clock is your New York football Giants. And let's say this is the way the NFL draft played out. Caleb Williams goes one, Drake May two, Marvin Harrison three, Malik Neighbors four, and Joe Alt five. If that is how the first five picks played out, and you're on the clock at number six, who would you pick in this situation? Give me the name of the player you would select at this is how the first five picks played out, and the Giants were on the clock. Daniel Jeremiah had the New York Giants selecting Heisman Trophy winner. Jaden Daniels, quarterback, LSU, with pick number six. And that is a very, very good situation. Hopefully it plays out like this. Not sure if it will. Jeremiah, he said this on why he potentially has the Giants selecting Jaden Daniels. Quote, I don't make trade projections and mock drafts this early, which is why Daniels is still available at number six. I wouldn't rule out the Giants trying to move up for a quarterback, but in this scenario, Daniels falls into their lap. Daniels at number six and being a New York Giant would be a dream come true. You get one of the most electric players in the draft to fall to you at pick number six. You don't have to give up any more draft capital to move up, and you potentially walk out of round one with your next franchise Quarterback, six foot four, 210 pounds. He's been in college football for a while. Started at Arizona State, transferred to LSU in the fall of 2022. Spent two years down in Baton Rouge, and he got better in both of those seasons. This past year, though, 72.2% completion percentage. Almost over 3,800 yards, 40 touchdowns to four interceptions. Don't know if this is true, but I'm pretty confident in saying this. I don't think the Giants have thrown for 40 touchdowns since Eli Manning has retired. And he did it last year in the SEC. Grade the pick, though. Let's say the draft fell out like this. And Daniels was the pick at number six. How would you grade the selection? Get out your Sharpie. Hopefully it works. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you would grade to pick a Jane Daniels to the Giants at number six. I know I said A, B, C, D, or F, but this would be an A-plus pick for the New York Giants. If the board fell out like this, Joe Ald off the board, Malik Neighbors off the board, Marvin Harrison Jr. off the board, Drake May as well as Caleb Williams. If those five are gone and you're picking at six and you get Jaden Daniels, that would be an A+. plus, Maybe even an A++. But don't want to be that guy. Don't want to be the negative Nancy. Don't want to act like a Karen. But I'm not sure how realistic this is. I don't find it all that likely that Jaden Daniels will be available at number six but that doesn't mean the Giants won't trade up for him. 
Remember the quote Daniel Jeremiah said. I think the Giants are a team that could trade up for a quarterback. And I think he's telling you that they may be interested in Jane Daniels. I'm going to show you why Daniels would be the right pick coming up around the corner. We'll compare his stats to the other top quarterbacks in this class and so much more. But first, check out our proud sponsor, Game Time. Download the Game Time app and use the promo code GIANTSCHAT and you'll save $20 off your first purchase. Giants games, concerts, Rangers games, Yankees games, Mets games, any sporting event, any concert, theater events, and so much more is what you could buy tickets for on the Game Time app. What I love about it as a procrastinator is the price of tickets go down as the events get closer. And they will send you push notifications for flash deals. When you see that little yellow thing right there, the little lightning bolt, that means it's a flash deal and you're not going to get a better deal. I also really enjoy that you get to see the, the view of the event from your seat as you are potentially thinking about purchasing it. Download the Game Time app. Use the promo code GIANTSCHAT and save $20 off your first purchase. Best prices, best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed. Prices dropping as events get closer. NFL, NBA, sporting events, and so much more. Download it. Use the promo code GIANTSCHAT for $20 off. Jaden Daniels is my QB3 in this class, and I still think it would be a home run pick for him to go number six to the Giants. I have Caleb Williams number one. I have Drake May number two. I have Jane Daniels three. J.J. McCarthy, I have him at number four. Daniels at pick number six, QB three, would be an absolute home run. What I do love about Daniels the most is he feels like a guy that is just scratching the surface of who he's going to be, even though he has spent a large chunk of time in college football. And the reason I believe that is because of the drastic leap he took from 2022 to 2023. His completion percentage jumps almost five points. His passing yards jumped almost a thousand yards. His passing touchdowns go from 17 to 40, while his interception total increased by just one. And when you think about his yards per attempt going from 7.5 to 11.7 and the turnover worthy plays did not increase, as well as the completion percentage increased almost 5%, that is crazy to comprehend but it's not just what he does in the pocket. We'll talk more about rushing ability coming up around the corner, but the guy rushed for over 2,000 yards in the last two seasons and 21 total touchdowns. Jaden Daniels is the type of quarterback that, in my opinion, Brian Dable can unlock. He can absolutely unlock him. And if I'm trying to give Dable a quarterback, I want to give him a guy that has a limitless ceiling, someone that has the ability to be a superstar. And that's the type of player Daniels is. Is he a little bit raw? Yeah. Is he rough around the edges? Sure. But when it comes to arm talent, arm talent, playmaking ability, and home run threat, anytime he touches the football, Daniels is up there with anybody in this class. Let's compare him to other quarterbacks. When you talk about big time throw percentage from the 2023 season, he was number one when it comes to Daniels, May, Penix, Williams, McCarthy, and Bo Nix. Nobody had a bigger big-time throw percentage than Daniels last year. But also, he is a guy that's looked at as a scrambler, but I would say he's more so a runner than a scrambler. Like, McCarthy can make plays when things break down. And not to say Daniels can't, but he didn't have nearly as high as a completion percentage as a guy like McCarthy or Bo Nix. This is their completion percentage out of scrambles. Jane Daniels at 46.7%. Higher than Caleb Williams, higher than Drake May, third when it comes to the top six QBs, in my opinion. I also thought Daniels did a really good job when the field shrunk and he was able to convert in red zone opportunities, completing 65% of his passes in red zone, in the red zone. But what I love the most is zero interceptions in the red zone compared to 14 touchdowns. He was efficient and he was smart with the football. He did not put it in harm's way. 14 touchdowns and zero picks in the red zone. That's where you win games. He did a really good job of that last year. Some advanced stats. His adjusting completion percentage, which really factors in drops and other things, 79.6, seventh highest in college football. Big time throw rate, 8.4%, sixth highest in college football. Deep yards, fourth highest in college football. And turnover worthy play rate. That is a stat that I really value. That shows how often you are putting the ball in harm's way. He did it at just 1.6% of passes. That is sixth best in the NFL. But outside of just what able, did I say NFL? I meant college, in college. 
He did not put the, harm, the ball in harm's way in college football. He's also electric, electric with the ball in his hands. He can make magic happen as a runner. I think he's the only guy in this class that I would actually classify as a running quarterback, whereas these other guys are creators, improvisers, and can do things when the play breaks down. You can actually call running plays for this guy. He missed, he forced tacklers to miss tackles 47 times last year. He had 41 runs of more than 10 plus yards. He had eight runs of more than 15 plus yards. This guy is a quarterback and he had 565 yards after contact and he had 52 rushes that ended up in first downs. If I am going to draft a quarterback, I would like for it to be a guy that I think that Brian Dable could turn into an MVP. He did it with Josh Allen. I know he hasn't won the award, but he's competed for it. And I think he could do the same thing with an ultra-talented Jaden Daniels. Make sure you guys are following me over on social media. I'm tweeting about the Giants every day. I'm posting about him as well. At Marshall Green underscore on Twitter, as well as over on Instagram. Hit me up over there, and let's go Big Blue.